What needs to be kept cooler than outer space and looks like a high-tech chandelier? Introducing the quantum computer, a supercomputer that will be able to solve certain types of challenges in seconds. But it's not just going to be a faster computer. This machine has a whole other skill set. To explain, let's look at a traditional computer. Everything you put into a computer is translated into ones and zeros. We call these binary digits, or bits for short. Basically, computer language. Quantum computers run on quantum bits, also known as qubits. A qubit contains multiple pieces of information and may be measured as a one or a zero. Let's just say their language is more complex. By considering the state of multiple qubits at the same time, they are much faster than today's computers for certain types of tasks. They calculate things differently and have different capabilities. This is because they operate within the law of quantum physics. Think probable outcomes. A quantum computer doesn't try all the possible outcomes at the same time when decoding. Instead, it watches the probabilities based on qubit behaviors and calculates the most likely outcomes. This makes them really good at drug discovery and medical research by speeding up simulations, predicting extreme weather events by improving pattern recognition, supporting better financial investments, and improving route and traffic planning systems. To perform at their best, quantum computers need to be kept at minus 270 degrees Celsius. That's cooler than outer space. The chandelier-looking part is actually a network of cooling pipes, keeping the quantum computing chip at the bottom, the brains of the operation, cold. So, when will you be using one? You might not. These computers won't replace today's computers. They are an additional tool for helping solve specific tasks. While they could be adopted within the next decade, we are just skimming the surface of what's possible. Quantum computers will solve problems and mastermind new applications we haven't even thought of yet. That's why we're working with IBM now to prepare for a quantum future.